It's gonna be another stunning day today. I think we're supposed to hit 18 degrees Celsius, which is pretty wild. We'll see if it actually gets that warm or not. But we're gonna keep, we're gonna get started on the fence today. So I think our main goal right now is to just get the first H post in. It's our first time ever doing it. So not sure how long it's gonna take. I'm sure it'll get faster and faster the more we go. But if we can get this first H post in and then we can start putting in the first line of fence posts on the little trail that Greg built yesterday, we should be looking good for today. So. We just went into town this morning and picked up some heavy duty posts. We've got a ton of used smaller posts for in between that we picked up for, I think like $2 or $1 a post a couple years ago and they've been sitting in a pile. So it'll be another pile of stuff that we've salvaged that we can get cleaned up and actually in use, which will be making it look a lot nicer around here. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited to get this project started. We're gonna be working outside there's just beautiful weather for like a week, I think. So it's gonna be nice to be out here enjoying the sunshine and the heat. So we're just loading up the fence posts and the tools and stuff, and we're gonna head down there. Well, I would say that went pretty smoothly. We've got the H post set up for the corner. Now we're gonna tension them. So we've got to go from, Greg said something about the direction of the way that you're pulling the fencing. 
So we're going from the bottom of the outer post to the top of the corner post. And then that should tension this up nicely. What's your plan, Foo? How many are you going for? 25, I think. Until I... Until it's tight? Until I think maybe I should stop. Does it make it get more like solid? Yeah. <laughs> Much stronger? Yeah. So I watched a YouTube video that was showing how to do this uh, instead of using a ratchet style clicker that some people use. Which this costs more money. Which costs more money. This costs free. Well, it costs the, the same price as the cable you'd be using anyway. But I'm really impressed by this. This works really well. So we were sitting down for lunch and we realized we got the cables backwards uh, you don't want it to go from the bottom to the top in the corner you want it to go from the bottom on the corner to the top of the outer post so we just added an extra cable here to strengthen it up
Is it a steal or is it crap? We got these for $2 a piece and they're starting to come apart. So was it a waste of money? How much are they normally? 15. But they're falling apart. So they work well. So they're worth $0 in my mind. <laughs> and we paid two. Smiley Guy Onyx. Onyx. He's a smiley guy. He likes a little chin scratch. Hey, Onyx. Look at that beard you got, buddy. Wow. <laughs> You're looking fantastic. All right, Greg has been out here this morning just preparing the road a little bit. We had quite a bit of dirt piled up on the sides, so he is just leveling that out. I'm gonna head over and check it out and we'll keep going with the fence posts. We didn't get very far yesterday just because we had some friends stop by, so sometimes you gotta take a little break and just hang out in the sunshine, but we're ready to get into it today.
continues to be a stunning day. We're back at our fence project. We're gonna be working on some more H posts. We've kind of done one big line. So now we're gonna secure the corners and then we'll keep going in the other direction back towards the house. So it's been going pretty smoothly. We've had to do a little mix of wooden posts or the metal T posts. Some of the areas are just a little bit too difficult. But once we got going with the tractor, Greg standing on top of the tractor bucket and hammering it with a sledgehammer, things went a lot faster. So we're gonna keep going with that method. Well, there you have it. We've got a huge line of fence posts done. Now we've got three more left to go. And uh, it's a big project, but it's gonna be worth it. We're gonna wrap up the video here. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, say hi down below. Let us know where you're watching from and make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more of what we're working on here at our off-grid property. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.